Okay, my friend. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get paper. And this paper is 11 and 5 8 by 8 and 3 8. I've taken the liberty of scoring, of pre-scoring it just so I don't make a mistake, which I made right here. So it's 8 and 3 8 by 11 and 3 8. So at the 8 and 3 8 mark, you're going to score a 2 and 1 8 on both sides. At the 11 and 5 8 mark, you're going to score a 3 and 1 4, 5 and 3 8. 8 and 5, 8 and 10 and 3 fourths. So let's score right now. So 2 and 1, 8 on both sides, right? And then you're going to score at 3 and 1 fourth, 3 and 1 fourth, 5 and 3, 8, 8 and 5, 8 and 10 and 3 fourths. And we're going to burnish that right now. I'm going to set this aside. Wait. Um, I will set this aside. We're going to burnish later. We're just going to get all the other ingredients. The next thing is you're going to need the itty bitty boxes. So you're going to need four of the five and five. Four of this. So five by five paper. You're going to need four pieces of that. And you're going to score at half and one and a half on all four sides, which I did right here. So this is five and five, eight. Let's just go through the motions just in case. So half an inch and one and a half. And you're going to do that on all four sides. Half an inch, one and a half. Half an inch and one and a half. And feel free to pause the video if you want to. Half an inch and one and a half. And you're going to do that on all four sides, on all four sheets of the 5x5. Five five. Okay. You're going to burnish all of that. And I'm going to show you how to assemble that. The next bit is the, the bigger one, the longer one, which is we only need one of. And that sheet of paper is 7 and 1 8 by 5 and 1 8. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to score half an inch and 1 inch on all four sides. So let's just go through the motions. Okay, so half an inch and 1 and a half. And you're going to do this on all four sides as well. I just want to score everything so we can put away the scoring board and start burnishing and everything. Half an inch, 1 and a half. Half an inch and one and a half on all four sides, okay? And then we're going to get our lid. And this lid, the paper is six and one four, six and one fourth by four and one fourth. And we're going to score at one inch on all four sides, okay? Do that. One inch. Sorry, I'm doing the laundry. One inch. One inch and one inch on all four sides, my friend. Just like that. So I am going to put this away and we can start doing our burnishings. So we're going to start with a big piece. And this big piece, again, your big piece is 11 and 5, 8 by 8 and 3, 8. So I'm going to set that there. So let's burnish. Burnish on all of them. That is my, I'm getting messages, sorry. Let me mute that. Burnish again. I think you're way too close. Wait, let me put you up just a little bit more. Yes, much better. Sorry. So we're going to burnish and everything. Okay, burnish again. Keep on burnishing. Okay. I'm so sorry. That was my laundry. <laughs> so sorry about that, you guys. Anywho, so this is what we have. Everything is burnished. What we need is we're going to cut from here from here to here and up to your second score mark. And you're gonna do that on both sides as well. So let's do that before I load up the, the next load. So cut up to your second score mark, do the exact same thing for the other. This is such an easy project, I promise you. You'll be like, what, that was it? Like that is it, honey. So this is what you're gonna have, okay? Just like that. This one, this portion right here, you're going to remove that. So take that away. Remove that portion. Because we are not going to need it. So cut that off. I mean, I'm sure there's a better, more graceful way to cut it off. Like using a scoreboard. But my scoreboard is not built that way. So I'm just going to do the manual cutting so remove that 
Okay, if you want to, you can create this using your decorative paper already. It's just not going to be that sturdy. That's why I like to recommend that you use 110 pound cardstock as a base and then decor decorate away. So this is what it looks like right now. What I want you to do is I want you to do some um, rounding of the corners. I'm going to use 7mm. Just round the corners. Oh, this looks not good. I'm just going to use my crocodile. That wasn't that clean. So do that. Use your crocodile. Use whatever corner rounding tool you have. Pretty much just... What is going on with me today? I don't know how to use my corner rounder. That's weird. Anyway. I wonder why. Okay. Maybe I'm not putting it properly. So, use your error. Um, okay. So that's what we have. I'm just going to clean this up. Okay. So you can put away your corner rounder tool. You're not going to need that. So here's what we have, right? Your 11 and 5, 8 and 8 and 3, 8. This is your base. This is going to close. This is going to close. Right there. This is going to close. And this is... Sorry. <laughs> and that is going to close. And this is going to be our base of the box. Now, now that we have that, if you want to, you can decorate it, have fun with it. What I'm going to do next is we're going to get our boxes. So we're going to get our big box, which is a 7, and 3, 8, and a 5. Take this away. And then the 5 and by 5. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to burnish it. Okay, so now that we've done all the burnishing, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to cut a reinforcement. Like, if you've been watching my tutorials, this is how we normally do it. So cut your reinforcement, just like that. This one is going to be right there, and then cut that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Let's do that again. Cut this. Cut this. Cut this at a diagonal. And then remove this extra part. Okay. And you're going to do that for all your boxes. Let's do that again. Just a review. You're going to do this for the 5x5 five five as well. A little bit faster this time. And you're going to get the hang of it if you're going to do five times with all five boxes. Okay. So essentially, what you want your box to look like is like this. Okay. And then for the five inch one, it's exactly the same. Just like this. Reinforcement. Cut a diagonal. Cut this. Right there do this exact same thing all four sides my friend all four all five boxes because a five by five you're going to need four of that and the big one you're going to need one of that so keep on going you're going to do all five okay so let's do all five let's just pause the video and just do it and then we're going to assemble it together All right, friends, so now we have these boxes, right? Boxes, boxes. So during the break, which is like a millisecond in YouTube time, it's going to be like this. In YouTube time, I've taken the liberty of covering them with just cardstock. So it's not a big deal. I just wanted to cover them and everything. So this is what I have so far. 
I cover them so it's ready to be attached. So I cover them here and here, just two sides. This one I didn't cover, that's okay. Also, the base. I covered our base with this paper, okay? So what's gonna happen is you're going to be putting your boxes right here. So you're gonna attach your small boxes, your two by two boxes on this side, and this big box you're going to attach to the middle. So that's what we're gonna do just so there's continuity of the project. Um, so yes, I'm going to use my glue gun to attach right now and I'm going to show you, it has to be really sturdy so it stays. Okay, dear. So, yep, we're attaching it right now. Make sure that the right side is getting attached. The next and last part is your lid. Super, super easy. Six and one fourth by four and one fourth. Score at one inch on all sides and then you just create tabs on four sides. After you do that, you're going to create you're going to create your lid. It keeps everything in place. And you're going to put glue right here. My suggestion for you, friend, is once you close it, you have to put it right here. You have to put it before you assemble. Like a practice. So don't assemble until you have this on here. So that it's it closes perfectly for you so this is what i need for you to do you have to have it on the box right there okay have it on the box and then that's when you attach do it one at a time one at a time okay just like that don't worry you're going to decorate the lid so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Sturdy. I did all my covering while we were finishing Wednesday, so I had a lot of time. So that is your lid. And then you can decorate your lid however you want. I'm going to decorate my lid and make it into a house. This is how I decorated this lid because it is you know now it's time for you to put your ephemera to work i am going to create a house facade just like this um for my lid i think it's going to be absolutely super cute if i did it just like that so i'm going to add glue because there was a cottage there's a cottage in the collection and i think it would be super cute to replicate that the color winter wonderland collection i mean so cute so now it looks like a house like a regular house but when you open it up it actually to so open it open both sides just like that so awesome anyway um i'm going to show you the decorated version of this i just need to get more velcro because i run out of velcro so I'm going to do that and then when I come back, I'm going to show you the fully, fully decorated with ephemera and odds and ends and things. I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, friends, so as you may have noticed, I've also taken the liberty of covering all the side panels. So I've covered everything right there. I've covered the outside portion as well, just so, you know, I, ju I just did that offline just because, you know, it's easier. And then we're going to be putting some Velcro. So these kinds of Velcro, I love these. I get these from Joann's. And they're a little bit pricier than your normal Dollar Tree Velcro, but it makes a huge difference. So, make sure that it's tight, that it's secured and everything. You do this one. And you're going to do this on all sides.
So feel free to do that on the other side as well and also here. So you, you have like your closure just like there. So let me do that offline and I'll show you what happened next. Okay, my friends. So I've taken the liberty of decorating it beforehand. I just added some squares for like the windows, rectangle for the door, added some odds and ends and some chit chat from the Doodle Dash collection. And of course, right there. So when you remove the roof right there and you're going to... I still don't have like a Velcro for this. I haven't been able to buy some, but I did decorate it. So when you open it up, it still looks the same exact way. I've added some mini icon stickers from the Doodle Dash subscription box. Put some odds and ends and some chit chat. Some chit chat and some odds and ends right here. And when you open it, it's still the exact same way. It's still absolutely marvelous. Right there, you close it up. Same exact way. Absolutely marvelous. It is so, 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 so beautiful. And then you close this up. You put the ceiling to the roof. And it is a beautiful winter house. So let me show you the prototype. So this one, this idea came from like a 3 by 4 cut apart. From the winter wonderland collection and this one is just a regular box as you can see it's just a regular box it's a prototype super simple um but i think transforming it into a house like a winter like cabin makes it absolutely more phenomenal anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching have a wonderful crafty day this is christian signing off bye guys